we make this video as a warmness campaign and also socialization to the viewers who already see this, this, this documentary on YouTube that our organization telling and explain to you that uh, still so many bird seller, bird trade, even though protected or non-protected, still lies in this country. So when we make investigation, we make like an interview to the bird owner, like coming from door to door, and also we go to the bird market in Medan, in Jakarta, and some of the bird market in around Indonesia. And especially when we make uh, interview, some of them are telling that the most, they, the most of them make a business like a bird seller is just because of the money. And when we make also traveling, go to the forest, met with the bird, bird uh, trapper, when we talk directly, we make interview, most, most of them also telling us that uh, there is like some reason, like a classic reason, like oh, this is my hobby and this is also a side job. As we know that if there is no control from the government, from our uh, uh, stakeholder, like uh, some uh, uh, organization who which uh, focus in wildlife conservation like uh, make cooperate to make the good rules so the bird trade will be like can be like controlled by
we just out from the middleman house that we collect information before from the poacher who join with them before in the forest. So after I see in the middleman house, oh, when we make a concert conversation to the middleman first time, he really suspicious to us and also many time that uh, we make uh, we make like agreement like today today we plan to make meeting but and delay again so at this day we success meet him and then uh, even though we already entrance to his house he still really suspicious to us and then I try to make uh, I try to make like a private conversation before go to the for, to the main object like telling about uh, what his uh, family, what is his experience when uh, when he have uh, like uh, another job before do this before and at last uh, he won interview in his house and then uh, when I try asking the interview about the ivory of uh, helmeted hornbill, he said that uh, he have a collection that. A part of the ivory as a private collection, and then uh, some of the ivory that he buy from the poacher also he sell from to the buyer from Malaysia, China, and local people here. I mean, local people is uh, they are need like a rich people, like for also collection uh, for the wildlife. And when we try to interview him, asking how how much the price. How much the price? How how long he already like uh, be as a middleman to sell the helmeted hornbill ivory and other part of wildlife like uh, sun bear, deer, and after that he saw us like uh, two helmeted hornbill ivory in his table. Why he put it? here because we want to asking can you show me that you are uh, really true the middleman I asking with in Bahasa language and then he, he saw it but when I try to deep more question uh, with uh, before to go to the object like another show to another ifori uh, he make like said to me that uh, I just saw this because why? Because I have uh, many collection also in my room, and he said that uh, he already sell around like more than 100 ivory to to the buyer, and then because I don't wanna to push him to so all of the ivory that he collection, I don't wanna make like high suspicious from him. So I'm really surprised that when he said. Oh wait for a moment, and he go to his uh, private room, and he bring the one of the bottle, and I'm really surprised that that my investigation also before is like just to asking about the helmeted hornbill. He bring the baby of the pangolin already like put in the traditional wine. It's uh, this wine is used for the make the pangolin is like uh, it's like traditional taxidermy. So I really surprised. So I feeling that uh, what he said is true. So he, I still believe that so many, still so many, some wildlife he keep in his house, like uh, helmeted hornbill, because uh, the pangolin baby, the pangolin cup that he saw to me is really, uh, uh, unbelievable be before because I don't uh, asking about the another wildlife or another just try to beat him what he collect uh, so yeah th this is an incredible uh, investigation uh, mm. what do you think uh, th this is uh, this reveal that the market here is still alive the uh. wildlife market uh. so so I feeling that the wildlife market life even though they hiding like in the through the black market because most of the middlemen also the poacher also also already know that like helmeted hornbill ivory uh, another protected wildlife already like uh, uh, not allowed by uh, government to hunting or to sell it so of course the wildlife trade life here.